as it up from land. What kind of land? Long meditation. You don't know about your protection. You think that there is on the journey, people can the land. The rivers and the water for the white lake snow. Look how the boy, they won't look like Manico. Let them grow up in the old life. I was given your number by a mutual friend, Tony. He said you could hook me up. Uh-huh, what you looking for? Something fast. You know, not too expensive, around two to three. And when you get into town? Day after tomorrow. No problem. I know a guy who can sort things out. Tell me, can you drive? A little. <laughs> Modesty. Interesting. You ain't gonna fit in around here. Yeah, not sure I plan to. So where do we meet? It's a fast food place on Sunset, right? It's an old train car. The joint is named Carney's. Keep your head down, man. Police are all over us at the moment. Hey there guys, Black Panther here and welcome to Midnight Club LA. It is finally time for me to do a Let's Play again and I want to kind of have longer videos for the Let's Play so that's what we're going to go with. Anyway, this is Midnight Club LA. For the people that don't know, this is bloody brilliant. Why the bloody hell have you not played it? If you have played it, I don't need to explain, it's bloody brilliant. Anyway, so we've got the choice of going with a Sirocco which really does not look as nice as the new Sirocco at all. It's like the only old car that doesn't look anywhere as nice as the new one. Then we've got the 240SX. And then we've got the Golf GTI. Now, normally I'd go with the, the uh, 240SX. And I'm going to go with the 240SX again. I've just got to go with the 240SX. It's like the only normal car there. The rest to me, I'm not a massive fan of hatchbacks. So that's, that's kind of what I mean by nice that. Nice car. <laughs> Thank you. What, so you book? So they say. What? Hello, book. Man, don't tell everyone. <laughs> Trust me, man, I won't. <laughs> man, you're funny. You're like Tony. You're one of them funny East Coast guys, huh? You here to do stand-up? No, are I hate you? how stupid this book guy is. He's a stage people laugh at him just walking down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, Nikolai. Your girlfriend found me funny. She did. Ooh. She was confused, wondering why you dressed like you're playing golf. Cold! Man, <laughs> shut up, y'all. Anyway, what you here for? Race some cars, man. Obviously. What you mean, race some slow cars? <laughs> yeah. It's a lot Gotta of kids hanging around bottom, down you know? on the strip. Yo. Right between Rodejo and Fairfax. Go race them. Then we'll talk. Okay. Well, you came Good up luck, to me. Homie. I don't care about talking Come to on, you, Come on, y'all. Let's get something to eat. Yeah, go See on. if they can do me a burger low carb. Enjoy. What was that? I don't even know. What is that? That is dreadful. Okay, so uh, we're on Midnight Club. What, what's up? Remember, go to hey, race look. Henry. He on the. Why? Why? What? A... Right stick is default driving. I think not. So what we're gonna do is do a lot of settings, and then I'll be back. So all the settings are done and dusted. I'm trying with a really weird sensitivity. Don't say thinner. Don't say thinner, please. Right. Anyway, <laughs> I've, I've put it on minus 10 sensitivity because I know I remember this being really Let's sensitive, sensitive, sensitivity. <laughs> so we're going to see how it goes. Oh my God, look at that launch. Absolutely insane. I forgot we're in manual. I should probably change gears. I don't know when to change gears because it really doesn't explain properly. But we're going to see. It's such a like delayed input game. Like... Having a uh, play on the PlayStation 4, like the input lag you can tell is drastically more on the PS3 again. But I'll get used to it. I was used to it for many, many moons, and now I'll go be used to it again. Weight transfer. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> there, there was a lot of stupid things about this game, but a lot of cool things about this game as well. I'm going to keep it. Don't worry about that. I will definitely keep it. I keep catching my trigger on something so I can't press it fully, but I'll, I'll probably try and fix that now. And this game actually had cockpit view as well, which I really didn't expect when I bought the game. And I love it because it's just stupid. It's got hydraulics and everything. It's like, it's basically what I want in a racing game today. Um, I, I don't know. It's just, it's really wacky and it's really fun. Like I used to have uh, races with my friends, you know, me and the three or four friends would go on this game and we'd build cars and we'd just like drag race with like hydraulics or like we're doing wheelies and that sort of thing. It was just ridiculously fun. 
I, didn't, I just realized my car was like revving. Please change me. I'm gonna die, Theo. Please change me. And I was ignoring it. But it doesn't matter. We came first still. We didn't blow the engine up because we can't blow the engine. Oh, we're so rich. We got five grand. I wish it was so easy to just walk out. Like, oh, you're fine. Oh! Hey, man, I've got something for you. I'm terrified. Uh, okay, I can see that. My car disappeared. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I got it. How do I reverse? Oh, you have to press the brake still to reverse, even though you've got automatic. Uh, sorry, manual. That's really weird. Anyway, let's go back to it. So, action camera view. I can't remember what view I liked. Um, and annoyingly, the as you can see on, on on normal racing games, when you kind of maxed out a gear, it would stop like in the red area, it starts to go in the red area and then you know to change, but it goes just before it, so it's really complicated to like tell when I need to change gear, which means I'm going to be like, you twat I'm going to be shifting way too early on fours and stuff now move I started in third gear and now I can't, what am I doing this is going well alright, we've got to go through the alleyway we haven't got NOS if we draft this guy, we can get it. I remember the weight transfers to stop them drafting you, and it was so funny to just go up on two wheels. Oh, we're drafting them! I just wanna... I wanna... I don't need your turbo. I do need your turbo! Stop grinding against my car! Jesus wept. Thank you very much. Wait, where is he? He's not, he's not neck and neck with me. I thought he was right next to me. That's how you do it, of course you do, with a damaged car and you've got like a... That's not a carbon bonnet, that's a shit bonnet. Like, when you've crashed the shit out of it, that's that's what that is, just to be clear. Just so you knew that. Oh my god, the wheel spin for days and weeks and hours! Go! Look at that for a wheel spin stat. The first gear just like died for a second. It's so weird using manual in it, because I, I only ever used manual when uh, I did the drag races because it was so confusing to me. It's like, oh my god, why would you use manual? It's so, it's so difficult. But don't you dare do that to me. Two wheels. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm so used to this handling model already. And it, it's so, like, you can slide if you really push it. But I don't want to. So I'm not going to. This is, like, this, just, to, just for the people that don't know, that haven't played once again. Oh, okay. That was the worst, like, comeback in a race ever. This Midnight Club is made on a rock star. The people that make GTA, yeah, that massive game that's, like, cute. Midnight Club is dead. They're not going to make any more, uh, supposedly. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm assuming. And I read stuff, and, you know, they just haven't mentioned anything since. Um, they're working on new IPs more than anything in Red Dead and GTA because they sell lots. Car games, not as much, which is really depressing because this is an amazing customization like game. This was better than Need for Speed at the time. This came out the same time as Undercover, I believe. So if you compare the two, there's a big difference, and this one comes out ahead to, to me. Um, I put a lot more. I realized that I'm not changing gears again. I'm so sorry. Don't get distracted by all the cool stuff going on. Oh, snap! There's a plane in the sky. But anyway, this was the game we used to play all the, all the car meets and stuff. Before GTA was cool, before GTA 5 was a thing. This was this came out after GTA 4. So we did stuff that we did on GTA 4 on this as soon as it was. Because it was licensed cars and races and we're outside the restaurant where we finished the race, but I was flying ahead. Seriously, homie, five was all over my ass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. chasing all of us. <laughs> oh, okay, so y'all the real deal, huh, homie? He's called Jesus, I remember him. Okay, anytime you want to race with some slips, come on down to the beach then. Pink what slips, races, like damn time, straight. But one of your friends refused to give up his car? That car just spawned him. Man, put some brakes on that. First of all, he wasn't no friend of mine, more like a business associate. And second of <laughs> Look all, at I that just character there. Him. Whatever. Yo, what's up, man? What's He's up? not the same what car as me. Why was he calling my car we'll slow? It looks like... Later. later, Lester. This my boy, give it up. Oh man, we gotta work on that. <laughs> so have you, man. 
And you gotta work on shutting your mouth, fool. <laughs> Man, I knew Tony was right. You I love can't this. drive. You keep that up. Look at the uh, like pedestrians just, just like walking around in circles in defenses. Yeah, you know what? Trevor and his boys race out of this parking lot. Go race out of the parking lot. Then I'm sure they'll let you roll with them. Hey man, I was gonna tell him that. Hey, thanks. And I need a mechanic. You know someone? You should speak to Carol. Yeah, my man Carol. Yeah, his right. man Carol. He's got the best shop and private dealership in town. It's on Sunset in Old Hollywood. Cool, thanks. I am excited to begin customizing my car, so GPS. Let's go to Hollywood Auto. Can I fast travel? I guess not. Looks like we're going driving. Oh, shit. All right, let's uh, whack on the handbrake and then power up. The wheel spin though. Move. <laughs> All right, let's go to the dealership, dealership auto thing. It's the dealership only auto, technically. Oh, it's just around the corner. I thought it was a little bit further than that. That's why I wanted to fast travel. But it doesn't matter. We're going drive when I lap my driving. Are we on are we on action? I can't even remember what camera we're on. Oh my god! Sorry, mate. Sorry. 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 Oh, I'll stop now. It turns way too much when you launch. It's crazy. Anyway, to the auto. We're in Hollywood Auto. It's called Hollywood Auto. I knew that. I definitely knew that. Hey. Let's see what you got for sale. You got anything nice? I wonder if you can actually buy decent cars at this you, point. Jeff, the ignition timing is off. I'm working on it. Uh, Damn, buddy? that's a nice car. Yeah, I guess. It's too tight. You don't look that like was really creepy. As a movie producer. Why are you hanging out with him? We've got friends in common. Fair enough. All kind of good taste, huh? <laughs> what can I do for you? You tell me. This is a full service shop. Performance, body, lights, paints, vinyl, whatever you want. I can also get you new rides. Serious rides. No waiting list. No waiting hey, list. Man. Thank you. Hey, there was just the guy here, Martin. Also a friend of books. At least he was till he got bored with the scene. Or any scene. Nothing organized. That's his new vibe. Said he'd be on the strip in a red Scirocco. You interested? A red Scirocco. Maybe. Fair enough. What a fool! Why would he pick us the rocket? Maybe he's got the one that I left. It's too tight. <laughs> Whatever, Bobby. Whatever, Bobby. I really want to get that Camaro though. I would much. Pr Can we swap? That would be great. But anyway, let's see. Vehicle showroom. You must repair your vehicle before you continue. Anyway, what do we got available to us? I've got all the DLC. I forgot about that. I've got the cop DLC and the bike DLC and everything. So we're going ham on this. Let's play. I tell you that. All right. So. Uh, we've got the Sirocco, which we can buy. No thanks. We've got the 280Z. Cool. Uh, we've got the 240SX and the Golf. So we've pretty much got nothing. Next up is the Camaro. You know I'm going to go for that as soon as I can. Then again, we already did that in the videos. I don't know. There's t there's a lot of good cars in this game, basically. And you can customize them to cray cray. Just, just more than GTA. So, anyway. Customized vehicle, performance shop. We're going to upgrade it performance-wise. We're going to upgrade the exhaust and the nitrous. That's going to be so much money. How much was that bloody NOS? Jesus Christ. And we've spent all of our money, pretty much. Did I, did I buy it? I did. I've got 1,000 left. Okay, paint shop. We're going to fix the paint. Can I please... Why Why are you doing this? All parts. White. Gloss. There we go. That's, that's more like it. That's what I wanted. So, I want to go with white, I think. This car just suits white. It doesn't really match much else, to be honest. So, we're going to go with that. And if we go to the performance shop, not the performance shop, the exterior interior, um, not much we probably do because we've got... So oh, no, we've got they're actually quite cheap. You know what? We're going to start by going with that. Quite like that. And then already the comments are flooding in, calling me a ricer. So we're going to go with those, which are nice. That's actually quite cheap, these. Hoods, I can't afford those. Um, <laughs> intercoolers, I want, I want an intercooler. Let's show the intercooler. We can't. Okay. Well, it looks really weird having a decent front bumper and the rest of it's just like stock. It's like, oh, yeah, oh. Well, oh, what the bloody hell is going on? So we're going to go with the rear bumper just to balance it out a little bit. Rear bumper, what do you got for me? We'll go with that. Uh, then exhausts. That. I think that's... Okay, we've gone over the limit. So, 
Um, oh, let's let's change the exhaust back for now, and then we'll be cool. So we've got no money. I, I thought I cancelled it. We've got no money left. We've got horrible rims. We've got horrible side skirts. We've got a meh exhaust. We've got a boring license plate. We've got no interior. Welcome to the first episode of Midnight Club, guys. Um, so if you want to see more Midnight Club, let me know down in the comment section below. Please hit that like button to let me know also. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.